We thought this might be a good time to take you inside the museum and learn a bit about it from Ron Marr, president of the Long Beach Island Historical Association. And here's a little bit of what we've learned. The museum was formed in 1974 in response to the tearing down of many of the old cottages that contained valuable artifacts of LBI's history. These teardowns provided an opportunity for the museum to receive donations of many articles representing life on LBI and then preserve them for posterity. The LBI Historical Association purchased the historic 1880 church, which now houses the museum's collections. It's the oldest church on the island. And as you will hear Ron say, the building is the main attraction. Though I don't know, walking through the exhibits may cause you to think otherwise. But here's some of what Ron had to say during our visit. And it is really, the building is our main exhibit, isn't it? I mean, we filled it with other interesting things, but the building is the main exhibit. But most of the objects that you see in here were on the island, they were used on the island, in the houses on the island, by the families on the island, by the fishermen, by the clamors, by the uh, people that worked the cycle, lived on the mainland in the winter, came out here in the summer to work for the Wellsy cottagers and fish and do that sort of thing. Yeah, it's, the two things that fascinate me, interested in history, that most fascinate me are the um, old whale skeleton that we have hanging up in the auditorium, and then the old um, Indian canoe that was pre-Columbian Indian canoe that was discovered down at the south end of Holgate a few years ago by the Kellys. And then they have it on loan to the museum here. Well, there will be a festive spirit in the old church on December 9th, so plan to attend the event. The museum itself is open from Memorial Day through Chowderfest, though you can reserve it for events any time of the year or visit by appointment. It's not to be missed. It's a gem in the heart of Beach Haven.